This is prosthetics bar and star. He's a surfer and he takes his life in a very nice, you know, Aussie way. Music playing the radio, making all these legs and like, it's like a laboratory kind of thing. Being a surfer since I was young, like the idea of working with fiberglass and I was a technician for probably eight, maybe ten years before I actually became a prosthetist. So we went from making them to then actually fitting them. My name is Chandi. Chandi is an amazing young woman. She was the main breadwinner in her family. Birth defect, born with one arm and one leg. Particularly useful when sat on a street corner to look needy and earn a lot of money. So three years ago we started working with her and eventually we managed to put her into this government residential school. My mother was with me when I was begging. One day, when Shaila passed by, she asked my mother, why are you making your daughter beg? Why isn't she studying? When I was there, I saw a lot of people without limbs that weren't wearing prosthetics. And, you know, as you know, it, uh, unfortunately, sometimes the kids are used for begging and as sad as it is, they're better off without a prosthetic leg because they can probably get more money on the streets begging. So you can see in that one, there's quite a fair angle of reduction in the stump. What we want to do is position the foot laterally so that when she walks, she doesn't get this sort of knee action like this. And this is something that you guys will have to do in India. I filmed that whole process just in case the Skype didn't work when we got to India, that I'd be able to actually still do the, the job of fitting Shandani's leg without uh, having Pete there. But luckily, the Skype worked. Hi, Shandani. Hi. I hope Hi. I s pronounce your name correctly. Uh, this Shandini. is a gift Shandini. from me to you, OK? A gift in your side. Thank you. Actually, some people used to tease me because I didn't have any shoes. We always needed a translator and we had various translators to help us. We were able to work with Shandani and communicate with her about what was needed from her. So do you feel my fingers are in the right spot? Well, can you feel the top of the hip on with both? Yes. yes. The difficulty of doing anything in India Somehow it happened, you know, we had to find even a ruler tape measure, rope, just different things. How's that feel? Oh, how that feels. Yeah, it's going to be unusual for her putting a leg on. It'll be very different. And I, I'm sure it'll take a bit of getting used to. It makes me feel excellent. Yeah, really good. Ratiao, Bulao, Kyotun, Bulae, Hemelia.